Mm. Brent? Brent, thank you. Uh, great. Pablo and Rodrigo, Alexia and Paulina, please ask questions. That's the best way to learn. Thank when, you, Brent. That was a brilliant uh, presentation. Thanks. Yeah. When, when you finish up uploading all the HTML, well, the new HTML, how do you do it to like refresh it or erase it? When you say that, like, um, like when I save the info, like basically how am I replacing the old file essentially? Uh -huh. uh, okay, so great question. So because I'm using a, like, I have a software. Um, I know we've touched base on this. I don't remember the last time we have, so it's worth mentioning for sure. Uh, I'm running a WAMP server, which is a Windows Apache MySQL PHP server. Um, I download it from here and because I'm on Windows and it just installs everything for me. If you're on Mac, they have MAMP, M-A-M-P server, which is very similar. And the benefit of these are they just install everything at once and you don't really have to know, like you don't have to run terminal commands and configure stuff and makes life easy. Plus there's this cool guy here. Um, after that, I automatically get a www folder and you'll notice it's actually on my my c drive my actual like my personal computer right so all i have to do in my www folder is find my file this is what's opened here so as soon as i hit control s to save i actually i haven't shown you guys me click and save or save as but I, i'm literally just hitting control s just to save real quick um, or write the last one and then instantly because it's a local server, I can refresh this. So as an example, and that's the cool thing about local server um, is it's like instantaneous. It's, you don't have to like upload anything. So I'll change that to hi Pablo. I hit control S and then I refresh and it's that fast. No FTP, nothing fancy, no dragging and dropping anything. It just works. Now that sounds like a perfect scenario, but there are some downsides. Um, and very briefly, like if you have a Windows computer and you set up a WAMP server and then your actual server online is running on Linux and it's running on Engine X as a software versus Apache and it's on a different version of MySQL and then you build your website, everything works locally, you move it to the server, boom, something doesn't work, you're like, ah, so the best way to set up is to match your environment the best you can. Now, I don't have Linux installed, and let's say I couldn't, I could at least make sure I'm running you know, the same server software. Like if the server is running Apache, I have Apache. If it's running PHP 7, I make sure I have PHP 7. That minimizes the amount of changes and it should work fine. Um, if you can get on the same OS and same OS version, even better. So that just makes sure your test environment and your production environment are so similar or are the same, you minimize all possibilities of like, you know, that type of stuff. So that's the big downside is if it's different stuff than the actual server, run into problems. But the benefit of it is you could be on an airplane with no internet, you could be in a subway with no internet, wherever, just picture you don't have cell service, you're not allowed to use internet or something. You could literally still run JavaScript. You can run server-side code. You can still be programming the whole time. You can go into the woods, into a campsite, have your battery, right, fully charged and work for six hours and still be productive um, anywhere you feel like without dragging, uploading, internet connection. So that's a huge benefit. So that's a long answer, but does that um, cover it? Yeah. Yes. To, that, to that point, it's one of the reasons, guys, why we're so strict about file naming conventions. Uh, if you put mix upper and lower cases in your file names, it'll work just fine on a window machine if you mix those upper and lower cases. But as soon as you put it on a Linux machine, everything will break. And it's really hard to troubleshoot that because your eye doesn't often recognize the difference between an upper and a lower case letter. So um, reinforcement for trying to be consistent uh, so that you can, your code will work on the most number of platforms possible. Okay, um, Alexia, Paulina, Rodrigo, any questions before we adjourn? No. Okay. No questions for me, John. Great.
Great. Neither for me. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so marching orders for next week. Uh, Pablo and Rodrigo and Paulina, um, we want we want to have two really uh, complete tables. A uh, table for artists and then a table for cards, right? I think we started oh, yes, on that uh, before. Sir. Just make sure that those tables match our front end specification. And then we want to have a set of images so we can use real trading card images instead of this online art and technology image that Brent used in the example. That'll be a real trading card front and a trading card back. Make sense? Yes, the last week we also did the skills table. Oh, we did a skills table. So we have three tables. Yes. All right, good, good. Thank you, Rodrigo, for adding that. Uh, so um, I'm hoping, Pablo, Rodrigo, and Paulina, that you can set up GitHub uh, uh, so that um, we can start to share code. And we'll have a, a, a central repository for all of our PowerPoint specifications, as well as our database and our, and our code. Can you put that on your to-do list and between the three of you organize setting up GitHub, setting up a GitHub repository for trading cards. Now there's three other people that are working on this project. So we want to bring them into GitHub also so we, we can um, uh, share all of our work. Yes. Okay, good. I'll trust you guys to make some headway on have setting up a central repository. Okay, um, I'm good if you're good. I'm happy if you're happy to be continued next week. Thank you. Brent, uh, Brent thank you. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. Welcome, Paulina. Paulina, say hello to Alexia. Hi, Paulina, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I, I didn't know Alexa. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Um, see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, pa. yes pa. I wanted to show you something. Sure, 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 sure. I'm actually working.